When playing the game, follow the leader. There are only two rules you need to know before you proceed. One, pay close attention to whoever's up front. And two, never, under any circumstance, let your flesh take the lead. Now, of course, we want everyone to participate, but you can't be naive. The flesh brandishes lust like a shank and is much more dangerous than what we've been led to believe. Sure, you can suppress it, but only to a degree. Eventually, the flesh will lash out and you'll realize that your desires are not as pure as what you'd like them to be. I've seen men become flowing faucets for thirsty females who fail to heed to the rules of the game. Don't let flesh lead. It does not matter your gender. The rules are the same. Ladies, what are you drawn to when you first meet a guy? His smile, his charm, how he stares in your eyes. Is he smart? Is he strong? Does he hang with the wise? Does he work with his hands? Is he early to rise? What's the best bait to hook him? Meat, of course. <laughs> That's not a surprise. The flesh knows men find it hard to resist a meal that comes with breasts and two thighs. It's a booby trap. But if you remember the rules, they will help keep you grounded. Just because baby got back doesn't mean she's well-rounded. Now, the single best strategy to convince the flesh to concede is to isolate it in the corner and allow the spirit to lead. Truth is, the spirit is the only leader guaranteed to succeed. And when he's in the front, inevitably, you'll notice that the flesh starts to bleed. At this point, the game is pretty much over and the victory won. Because the spirit always forces the flesh to peel off like it was exposed to the sun. Any questions?